Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 9th of June. I'm James Spann. A very, very humid, muggy, tropical air mass will cover Alabama through tomorrow. But a cold front comes in here tomorrow, and that's going to set the stage for a big change by tomorrow night and Thursday. Let's dive in and talk about things this afternoon. There's the upper look. Remnants of Cristobal moving up through parts of the Midwest. And down here, the tropical system left a pure tropical air mass in place. Uh, this is coming from the deep tropics. You feel it when you walk outside. That's the visible satellite view. And you can see a lot of convection across the state. And where showers and storms have formed, they will be very efficient rain producers. That was the radar composite at 228. Some of the heaviest rain at that point along and just east of Interstate 65. Temperatures 70s and 80s where the rain is falling. We have 70s where we've got some sun. We've got 80s on the board. And, boy, those dew points tell the story. Look at that Pell City dew point, 81. Ooh, boy, that's oppressive. And, again, that's what you feel when you walk outside. There's the watch warning map. Flash flood watches for parts of Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota. That's with the remnants of Cristobal moving up through there. Look at all the wind advisories and high wind warnings for parts of the central plains. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. We have an enhanced risk around uh, Omaha, Nebraska, down into parts of northern Kansas. A marginal risk just north and west of here. And then tomorrow, an enhanced risk around Detroit and Cleveland. Uh, negative tilt trough, very deep moisture. Could be a very active severe weather day up there. Down here, we have a low-end marginal risk. Level 1 out of level 5 for much of the state with a front slicing into this air mass. The main threat's going to be strong winds, as we'll talk more about that in a moment. And then on day 3, which is Thursday, a marginal risk of severe storms well to the east of here. Here's the rain for the next 7 days. The west is fairly dry. For Alabama, amounts uh, one inch or more for southeastern counties, one half inch or less from Birmingham north and west. And again, after tomorrow, we're going to be dry for a while. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow at 4. Negative tilt trough coming through the Great Lakes. Again, that's a pretty efficient, severe weather producer. That's the reason we have a, an enhanced risk up around Cleveland and Detroit. We'll see the trailing front, and those don't come through here that often in June. Uh, this is the high-res NAM at 6 o'clock, and you can see that band of showers on the front from near Scottsboro down to Birmingham. And it doesn't look like much here, but in this kind of air mass, I would expect to see a little more activity than that. This is the instability at 6 o'clock, and there's your front. Again, Huntsville down to about Tuscaloosa. And uh, out ahead of the front, surface-based capes, uh, 2,000 to 3,000 joules per kilogram. And uh, this is the SRH, the storm relative helicity, veering of the wind with altitude in relation to storm motion. There's none of that. So no tornado threat. But just keep in mind, a few storms that form on that front tomorrow could produce strong straight line winds uh, tomorrow afternoon, especially for the eastern half of the state. And that's when the front will be in the afternoon. And then Thursday, we are in dry air. Yeah, buddy. We'll be in the 80s, but the dew points come way down. Look at the precipitable water, all the shades of brown and blue. That is very dry air. So it's going to feel a lot different on Thursday. Nothing but sunshine. Friday, we're going to see a lot of folks in the 50s Friday morning. It's going to feel great. Friday will be a sunny day with mid-80s. Same thing Saturday, maybe a few showers down in extreme southeast Alabama. The rest of the state dry. And pretty much the same thing on Sunday. Uh, lots of sunshine Sunday, highs in the 80s. Monday, you see a patch of green. We're leaving it dry. Should be a very dry air mass. Highs mid-80s. The sky partly sunny. And a week from today, this is Tuesday the 16th, an upper low to the east, and that looks rain-free. Lows in the 60s, highs in the 80s. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, June 19th. The upper low is off the Atlantic coast, ridging off to the west, and again, that looks pretty quiet. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean between 1 and 2 inches over the next 15 days. Highs mostly in the 80s, but look at those low 60s. And again, this is for Birmingham. Many of the valleys will see 50s uh, Thursday morning all the way through Monday morning of next week. It will feel very refreshing in the morning for this time of the year. 
And the brand new CPC outlook for June 17th through the 23rd, showing temperatures maybe a little above average around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.